Welcome to my studio. This is a new commission, another bear painting. This is for my same collector, Gina. And this is also a gift that she's giving to one of her nieces. And this is going to be, this is Alaska in the fall. We're going to have polar bears, a polar bear mother and cub. And the light will be coming in from the right so that it will highlight this side of the mother bear and the cub. You can I showed you the whole uh, composition at the very beginning. But the background, the distant background is fall trees and I'm just using mixtures of lemon yellow plus a tiny bit of phthalo blue plus a little bit of cadmium yellow medium. I want these yellows to be very muted because we have sunflowers down here and they're going to be a brighter a brighter yellow so these we want to keep these very very muted and this light comes in in fact I even need to make some a little bit lighter because it's a little misty where the waterfall has just thrown up mist in the air and so this is very muted back here in the background in the distance and I scumble several different mixtures I've got mixtures again of my cadmium yellow medium plus lemon yellow plus white I've brought in here's a few little mixtures of phthalo blue plus white just give some blue back in there to add coolness the um, then this is a mixture of those same again the cadmium yellow medium plus lemon yellow plus a little cadmium orange and I just bring these colors in I'm going to have some sky showing up in there but then up in this area I'll go ahead and show you that I'm going to have some darker red leaves so that, that will give a dark that this light comes in in behind and so we've got some of those leaves coming down they'll come in front of these trunks This is on a gallery wrap canvas. The painted image goes up over the edges. I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. This is a mixture of my cadmium orange plus alizarin crimson plus a little bit of cadmium uh, red light. And again, this gives me a dark. In fact, I even need some darker tones in there. Let me mix a little bit more alizarin crimson into this mixture. A little more alizarin crimson and a little bit more mud and again the other colors are cadmium red light and cadmium orange and then just a little bit of white which just dulls the color just a little bit. I clean my brush with tissue so that the, the secret to really crisp clean colors on your canvas is a clean brush. You can see then I start bringing some of my darker shades in here. And some of these will come all the way down. And some of those leaves will go over that trunk. But I want the light to be coming in from the right side. So let's bring then, this comes down below. below those leaves. We just get that feeling of that nice sunlight pouring through. And what it does is it just will lead your eye directly to our bears. I want this also to be very textured because it's It just is leaves, it's a variegated color. And I want it a little bit darker then as I come down behind my polar bear because he's going to be light, or she's going to be light on that side. And there's trunks back in here, but they're going to fade into the distance. I'll have a little bit of sky showing through the leaves back up in there. some of my 
bring some of my phthalo blue in here and just to add coolness, contrast. That cool makes that go back. I'll get very careful around my bear. I don't want to mess her up. I'm going to take that trunk out because it was just right in line with her legs, so don't want that. And we want it darker over here. We want the lightest part to be in here. So we come over here, we're going to get a little darker. But I'm not going to... don't want it real dark. And I'm actually going to add a few little of these darker reds, but I'm going to let these mix in with these other colors to kind of let that fall back. Just get the feeling that there's some different kind of trees and foliage up in there. Again, I'm not going to worry about the side of the canvas right now, so I want to show this to you. And I'm going to have a little sky Here. And this is cobalt blue plus white. And this will just kind of show through my leaves. That may be too light or too dark. Let me see here. I'm going to do this. This may not work. I may just decide to make that all, all leaves up in there. We'll try it. I can always go back and paint leaves all in there if I want to. I just want to get the feeling that that sky is just kind of showing through some of my tree leaves. Now I'll come back and I'll use a little darker colors in here. Again, this is just very impressionistic. I don't, I don't want this to be real detailed. It's just to fall back. But I do want some texture to just give the feeling of those leaves. Usually my backgrounds I want to be fairly smooth, but it, this is an exception because this is just such a field of, of leaves and all that I want some, some texture in there. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I'll bring a little bit more. I just needed some darker leaves in there for it to... That just gives the feeling of the sky is showing through. You know, we all think of Alaska as snow, but actually, in the, actually for us, it's late summer. But, it's, but they do have fall, and they have, actually in the summertime, it's, it's really beautiful there. But that gives us some, some sky showing through. I'm going to let some of my darker leaves come up in here. And these trees, and then a little yellow back here. So that's how I paint that, those leaves there in the background. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification every time that I post a new, new video. And also visit my blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others that I do. And that link is in the description below. I also have the address on the final frame of my YouTube video. So you just have a happy, happy day today. And while you're out and about, just give somebody a great big smile. You just never know what's going on in their life. And that smile just may brighten their day. It may be just what they need to keep on going. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you again for visiting my studio.